Hey guys, uh, Double O Rebirth here. Um, another update video for the Sword Impulse Gundam, uh, part two. Out of how many parts that I'm going to make for this. So, in the last video, I basically just show you the corresponder. Oh, yeah, and to Sofiaku, who co recently commented, the wheels do not move. <laughs> Sadly, it's just um, just molded onto there. Yeah, if they would move, that would be pretty cool. But eh. all right. So moving on to oh, might as well put a timer on this. Uh, where is the clock? And set the timer to. Let's put it at six minutes right now. Since I'm hoping to make this about a ten minute video. So, moving on, um, I recently finished uh, the torso portion, or parts for the chest flyer. So, uh, here's what I got so far. <laughs> yeah. This is really nice. I'm really loving this. I built it so cleanly too, it's like, ah, oh god, I'm loving Sword Impulse now. Yeah, so, you basic head movement, and, and the joints on the, joints everywhere on this, they're pretty tight, I'm really surprised. It also got me kind of worried that I would break, break it, but yeah. These are probably the only loose parts, so yeah, these, just, slide right off and then they they turn for the chest flyer but I'm never gonna change it and I'm not gonna change it in this video I'm sorry guys but I do not want to risk damaging this beauty <laughs> so yeah both go out like that uh, yeah and then 360 degrees of movement uh, the hand can do a 360 uh, three, uh, three, three fingers attached to one, one little, uh, one little thingy here, and another, or ball joint, and an, another finger attached to a ball joint, also the thumb, and for degrees of movement, see the, see the elbow, the armor can adjust itself as it goes up, and you get this range of movement up here. Also, with the hand, it's pretty interesting. Uh, let me just raise it up. <sighs> Alright, so you can raise the fist, hands up a bit, and then carefully adjust the hand to go like this. So you get the talk to the hand pose almost, or grabbing, or squeezing gently. Anyways, um, yeah, that's what you can get with for the articulation found in the hands and arms of Sword Impulse. Yeah, barely any movement in the head, just basically up and down. And you can get the little armor part for the chest flyer up a bit. So let me get that up. This is kind of the annoying part if you're going to do the chest flyer is just... Like some of the pieces slide up, and it's kind of annoying. Oh, there, there, the ch there's a color change in my camera now. You know, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, kind of annoying, but what can you do? Slide this back down. You look sexier this way. Yeah. Okay. So back to how I had it before, basically. Three, three sixty turn. Yeah, I'm gonna take a get a close up of the face. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna do a review on this after I'm done, but so you can get a better look at this. So that's pretty much what I um. 
that's the first part. And I also have the shield done, detailed, as well as the beam rifle. Shield in its chest flyer mode, I just kept it like this for now. Uh, these, these, um, <coughs> sorry, these two can slide out, but, uh, because it's in the chest flyer portion mode, uh, can't really do that, but I can show you this. Uh, this can go up. I don't, I don't know if, you, if the Gundam can hold it like a regular shield, but there's a peg here. Goes down like that and spins. And apparently you can hold it like that, but I wonder if you can, if the Gundam can actually hold it by the handle, so. I'm gonna keep it like that. And for the beam rifle. Uh, pretty basic beam rifle. Uh, not not as sexy as like Strike Freedoms or like uh, Freedom Gundams, Infant Justice or Justice Gundam, but yeah, pretty pretty basic Zaft beam rifle, I guess. Um, handle can go up, so you can go like this. The sight can go here and here. And for some reason, I notice it's not a, a clear jewel or a clear plastic here. It's just a white piece of plastic. So that, that's pretty odd, but yeah. And I also re got started on... Here is my preview of the next video, which will be the parts of the leg flyer, or legs, whatever you guys want to call it. 18 seconds? Uh, okay. About four, four more minutes. Yeah, this is pretty much what I got so far. Yeah, I still need to do the side skirts here and here, but pretty much it's almost done for the most part. Okay, yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much it so far. Uh, interesting part when you uh, do um, any poses. If you bend the knees, the armor will shift in the knees as well as up here. So notice this right now, because I need to you need to move it right in order to show you guys. So yeah, you see that? Yeah, the armor shifts. Also, if you move it, uh, well, I guess you can't see it. Like yeah, here 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 you go. From here, the armor shifts on there. So that's pretty, that's pretty interesting. And now I bring it back to normal mode and bring it on down to here. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, video. Um, I'll update you guys on the next part. But basically I've been working on this Gundam for maybe 24 hours so far. And this is pretty much how far I've gotten. Um, only with detailing, touch-ups, um, light blemishes and whatnot. Uh, if you guys want, I can show you, uh, like a video or some sort of, um, oh, shh. Oh, crap. Did I break it? <laughs> Did I break it? Eh. Yeah, and, um, moving on, uh, if you guys want, I'd like to show you, like, a tutorial video on how and how I build the Gundams based upon other people's and how they do it. So, I'm, I think I'm at my limit, but I'm going to end the video right now. If you guys any have any comments or how, or, like, or, like, how you want me to do my work in progress videos, leave them at the bottom comments right over here. So, um, until the, until next video, uh, see ya. Bye.